Today we're here to interview Robert Quinn, who wrote this most incredible book called Change the World. And it, it's actually the most clear, concise statement of how, by changing yourself, you can make the world a better place. And he's got such clear accounts of, of how this message has, has come out through history, from, from both Jesus and Gandhi and Martin Luther King, and how they were all sort of following this, this same type of path of addressing their own hypocrisy, changing within, and then whole countries would change after them. When I think of this video, I think of Gandhi. I had a student from India say, Oh, but Gandhi did this, this, and here's the outcome. And I said, well, you don't understand. Gandhi's not about India. And he was quite shocked. And then I told a story about the um, civil rights movement in the United States and that it didn't begin with Rosa Parks but with four students in Greensboro, North Carolina. Absolutely innocuous students, not athletes, not great students, just four human beings. They had no assets with one exception. They had Gandhi. And those four people went down to a Woolworths and sat in, and it was at that moment that the viral process called the Civil Rights Movement was really born. The American Civil Rights Movement was about Gandhi and his predecessors. Gandhi wasn't about India. Gandhi was about the universe, and so on with every other person like them. And when you and I reach that state, our contributions forever. It's not bond, bound, bounded by a country. This video is that very same thing. This video has such a significant message that the message will go on forever because it's the same message. 